Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kiddie. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir. But you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause... Cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, twere like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. The cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had arisen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it, fiery marks on her hands. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. The beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted, it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. He's hot and glowing, as if they burn with raw fire. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? 
I'll do what I can to see that she is. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Faster. That silver.
Let's go! Not so fast, Roach. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here, yeah. I'm grateful. Witcher. A word, please. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this. Call it enticement. And this might prove useful. What is it? 
A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What have Anna learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Ciri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Ciri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Foltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Seri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Kerr Morhen. Witcher school there, are I? But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Mean to say you're a she-witcher? Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to be old. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. Die dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, Siri. Don't you embarrass us. <laughs> <laughs> Want that horse, don't you? Had one just like it. You're wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. 
Every man ran to save his skin, even were it to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna too. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilf Guardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. More units smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for enticement? Let's lay him down.
man's only as good as his word. Take the card. I fear Velen's short on worthy opponents. Boat builder in Oriton might be one. There was also an old soothsayer lived east of here, near the windmill last I heard. There's a lad about as reasonable as an old mare, but he plays a devilish hand. In fact, I don't rightly know that you're ready for him. Thinks it have got in corpse to me. Gonna kill the monsters? All of them. Some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? <laughs> so Siri was here. by Lydia Van Breedevoort. Where'd Siri get this? Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. Gretka. I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going, or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you, and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? 
her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Look familiar? My top. Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I bought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well, don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. They won't be as cocky once the Baron's men whip your off. dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they have friends in high places in Vizima. Thinks that they've got in corpse to me. What do you want, mate? Wait, Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A rag doll. Slow now. Time to water the horses. Hey ya! Whoa there, Roach. Sent Grandad out for some joy brushwood.
need a swift kick in the arse.
area.
Interesting.
Even the gods wait for our misfortune. Aye, floods all we need. Aye, floods all we need. 